Hi, it's Victor Piccini with another Flip the Switch with Vic Moment. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the third video in a series of four, and I really hope you're getting a lot of value out of these videos because uh, they have come from many, many years of really trying to understand what I did personally to overcome a lot of adversity in my life. Those obstacles that we that come into our lives, a lot of them out of our control that we have to hurdle, and sometimes we don't actually hurdle them, we actually hit the hurdle and fall, and a lot of times we stay in the fall for many, many years. Maybe not physically, but definitely emotionally. So again, we have to review, we're all basing all of these steps, or I call them leaps, on this print called Create. You are way more than what's hurting you right now, you hold the brush. And I think that is so perfect. We are way more than what's hurting us at any given time. We do hold the brush. Just sometimes people don't feel like they're in control of their masterpiece or their life. And it has a lot to do with what they're thinking about from, from the past. But I'd like to share the third leap in this four leap process that I call from victim to victor. And here it is. The, well, let's go back first. The first one was decide. You have to decide that you want to overcome your adversity. You have to get to a place where the pain is so great that you're like, I'm done with this. I am going to change now because I cannot live another day. And that's what I did. 11 years after my abuse, I said I was done and I was devastated. I was embarrassed. I was ashamed, but I said, I have to share it. And I did. And then I got to a place where if I'm going to decide to do this, well, I better own it. I better own what I am doing with my life right now. I'm going to take responsibility for where, for where I'm at at this moment. And I was not in a great place. I was emotionally drained. My grades, I was in college, my grades were slipping. And I'm, I, I said, I have to own this. I can't allow this person to control how I'm feeling now. And it, it's really kind of interesting because he was out of my life for a long, long time. And here I am still in pain. So I owned it. And now the third step, the third leap. What is the opportunity in the adversity? What can you get out of it? How can you flip it? How can you turn it around and say, it's not an adversity anymore. It's an opportunity for me to grow. And here's what I'd like to read to you. I have this picture hanging on my wall, and it's pretty cool. It is crisis and opportunity, and I'm going to read this to you. It says this, opportunity is always present in the midst of crisis. The Chinese word for crisis carries two elements, danger and opportunity. No matter the difficulty of the circumstances, no matter how dangerous the situation, at the heart of each crisis lies a tremendous opportunity. Great blessings lie ahead for the one who knows the secret of finding opportunity within each crisis. In the midst of every crisis, there lives and lies opportunity. Think about that. What is the opportunity? And it may seem so far out there, but for me, let me just share what my experience was. When I decided that I couldn't deal with this anymore by myself, that I had to talk about it, and then I owned it. I decided I'm going to take responsibility for what I'm feeling right now, and I'm going to transcend it, and I'm going to just soar. So I owned it. Then I thought to myself, what is the opportunity? And the opportunity for me was, this was a chance for me to share my message, to share my story and the messages that I got out of it. The lessons that I learned was an opportunity to share and potentially help other people. And that's what I'm doing right now. And I decided in a moment that I was going to take this adversity, I was going to turn it around, and I was going to use it as an opportunity because, again, he abused my body, but I refused to let him abuse my life. And that's, that's it. That's the third leap in this four-leap process. What is the opportunity? First of all, stop asking why me and turn it to what can I do now? Take responsibility for where you're at and look for the opportunity because it's there. A lot of times we're not looking. We're... Our blinders are on. So if you take your blinders off, those imaginary blinders, and say, wow, what a new question. What is the opportunity in this adversity for me now? What can I do to make my life stronger and better? That's it. So again, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. 
flip the switch with Vic moment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.